I have two identical springs, each with a spring constant of 200 newtons per meter. Now these two springs are connected together in parallel like this. What we want to find is the equivalent spring constant of the combination of these two springs. Let me first derive a general equation for springs in parallel. Say the two springs have spring constants k1 and k2. If I pull with a force f over here and the combination stretches by a distance x, this means the two springs each stretch by x. f equals to kx. If we look at the combination, the pulling force is F, so F equals to the combination has a K equivalent, the stretched amount X. If we look at the individual springs, the force in this spring is not the same as F. So let's say the force in this spring is F1, and the force in that spring is F2. So for this spring, I would have F1 equals to k1 times the stretch amount for this one is x. For that spring, I would have f2 equals to k2 times the stretched amount is also x. Now the three forces, they are related because on this side I have force f pulling and on top I have force F1 and F2, which means the force F equals to F1 plus F2. F equals to F1 plus F2. Now if I use this equation, I know F equals to K equivalent times X. From here, I have F1 equals to K1 times X, and from this one, it's K2 times X for F2. All the x's are the same, so I can cancel the x and then I get this equation for the equivalent spring constant when I have two springs in parallel. It is k1 plus k2. So of course in this case both k1 and k2 are 200. That will be 200 plus 200 equals to 400, that's uh, newtons per meter. This tells us that uh, when we connect springs in parallel, we end up with a larger spring constant k. The equivalent k is bigger than k1 and bigger than k2. And the bigger k means uh, it's a stiffer spring. Another way to solve this problem is to use the number directly. The spring constant being 200 newtons per meter means if I want to stretch this spring by 1 meter, I have to pull with 200 newtons. If I want to stretch this spring by 1 meter, same, 200 newtons. That means if I want to stretch both springs at the same time by 1 meter, I would have to pull with 400 newtons over here which means uh, if I look at the combination F equals to Kx, I have to apply 400 newtons to stretch the combination by 1 meter. So the K equivalent is 400, just like this. In this problem, I have the same two identical springs, each with a K equals to 200 newtons per meter. This time, they are connected in series like this. And we want to find the equivalent spring constant for this combination. Again, I'm going to first derive a general equation for the equivalent spring constant. So let's say this spring has a spring constant K1 and that spring has a spring constant k2. And I'm pulling with force f. Because the springs are connected in series, and we pretend that the springs are massless, the tension in this line would be the same throughout. This means the force in this spring is the same as this 
F. And the force in that spring is also F. So if we write F equals to Kx for the combination, it would be F equals to the combination K equivalent times, the, now the stretched amount, if this spring stretches a distance x1 and that one stretches uh, x2, the combination would stretch by x1 plus x2. Right? Now if I look at this first spring, the f would equal to k1 x1. For this, that spring, it's f equals to k2 times x2. So we got these three equations. So x1 plus x2. According to this one, x1 plus x2 equals to f divided by k equivalent. Now x1, according to this equation, x1 would be f over k1. x2 would be f over k2. And because uh, all the forces are the same, that means that we get this equation. 1 over k equivalent equals to 1 over k1 plus 1 over k2. So if both k1 and k2 equals to 200, then I would have 1 over k equivalent equals to 1 over 200 plus 1 over 200. And that gives us 2 over 200 which is 1 over 100, so the K equivalent is 100 newtons per meter, which means when we connect springs in series like this, we end up with an equivalent spring constant that's smaller than K1 and smaller than K2. We get a spring that is not as stiff as the individual spring. If I use this number directly, I can say I have to pull with 200 newtons force to stretch the spring by 1 meter. So to stretch this spring by 1 meter, the force, the tension in the spring has to be 200 newtons. Same tension, that means this one also gets 200 newtons. So this one stretches by 1 meter as well which means that the combination stretches by 2 meters when the force here is 200 newtons. So if we look at the combination F equals to Kx, when the force is 200 newtons, the stretched amount for the combination is 1 meter here plus 1 meter there. The whole thing stretches by 2 meters. So the X is 2 and therefore we get a K equivalent that's 100 newtons per meter, same thing.